What's good Anomaly fam? I'm Ad. I'm Terry. And welcome to your new reaction video. What do we have today? We have um, the speech that RM gave at the United Nations. Yes, so this was I think a month or two back. Um, mm. We couldn't escape it when it was happening. <laughs> it was all over the press and everything. But we actually haven't heard the whole thing. Mm -hmm. um, I think we've seen couple clips here and clips there. and speak yourself and you know yeah we can't escape you guys on twitter so <laughs> sorry but um yeah uh for new subscribers i'm a rapper producer i'm a director screenwriter and for every saturday for the last five weeks and for the next five we're going to be releasing yeah. um a music video so we have a new music video coming out right now which should already be out um it's called austerity it's a short documentary um and we would really appreciate if you guys have two or two or three minutes if you could just go check that out Get, show, um, show some love put something in the comment section let us know how you feel about it and if you haven't watched any of our personal project please start from home which is the first one and you're in for a treat because you've got five videos yeah. um yeah yeah um quick thank you for everyone that's been supporting that it's already really appreciate it. we appreciate you like crazy we do read all the comments and all of that shit and it really does give us I hope. Mean, if we haven't responded yet don't worry we will get there yeah um and it gives us hope that we can you know continue growing and all of that nice stuff but yeah without further ado let's get into this um i don't know how this reaction is gonna go because it's a speech we <laughs> yeah. don't i don't know how much we're gonna interrupt it but let's just see how it goes Crazy seeing them in these spaces, though. Mm. Thank you, Mr. Secretary General, UNICEF Executive Director. September twenty fourth. Distinguished guests so, from across the world. Nearly two months ago. Yeah. My name is Kim Namjoon, also known as RM, the leader of the group BTS. It is an incredible honor to be invited to an occasion with such significance for today's young generation. Last November, BTS launched the Love Myself campaign with UNICEF building on our belief that true love first begins with loving myself. Yeah. Mm. We've been partnering with UNICEF's In Violence program to protect children and young people all over the world from violence. I mean, just interrupting them there, I think it's clear that the love, the love yourself campaign is mm. something that they really live. It's not yeah. just an album title or yeah. a song title. It's a campaign. It's something that they've that's the message they're trying to put out in the I world. I think it's crazy because with BTS, we're always talking about the symbolism, the everything. It just goes to show that it really is genuine and it really runs deep throughout. Yeah. It, there's a thread throughout all of their work. 100%. And our fans have become a major part of this campaign with their action and with their enthusiasm. We truly have the best fans in the world. And I'd like to begin by talking about myself. I was born in Ilsan, a city near Seoul, Jeez. South Korea. It is a really beautiful place with a lake, hills, and even an annual flower festival. I spent a very happy childhood there, and I was just an ordinary boy. I used to look up at the night sky and wonder, and I used to dream the dreams of a boy. I used to imagine that I was a superhero who could save the world. And in an intro to one of our early albums, there's a line that says, my heart stopped when I was maybe nine or 10. Uh, Looking back, I think that's when I began to work. Don't want to read too deeply into it, yeah. but you can already tell why they have such a play on youth into adulthood. Yeah. I think what he's gonna say is just like that innocence goes right yeah. and like when he was nine or ten his heart his heart stopped it runs deep it's not just a creative idea they come up with yeah, it's something I, they've probably all lived yeah and that's why it's so powerful um, yeah, yeah let's go back uh, what other people thought of me mm. and starting seeing myself through their eyes I stopped looking up at the night skies the stars I stopped daydreaming instead I just tried to jam myself into the malls that other people made uh. soon I began to shut out my own voice and started to listen to the voices of others no one called out my name and neither did I my heart stopped 
and my eyes closed shut. So, like this, I, we, all lost our names. We became like ghosts. But I had one century, and that was music. There was a small voice inside of me that said, wake up, man, and listen to yourself. But it took me quite a long time to hear music calling my real name. Even after making the decision to join BTS, there were a lot of hurdles. Some people might not believe, but most people thought we were hopeless. Seen a bit of that. Sometimes mm. I just wanted to quit. Can't relate to some but of I that. But I think I was very lucky that I didn't give it all up. And I'm sure that I and we will keep stumbling and falling like this. BTS has become artists performing in those huge stadiums and selling millions of albums right now, but I am still an ordinary 24-year-old guy. If there's anything that I've achieved, it was only possible that I have my other BTS members right by my side, and because of the love and the support that our ARMY fans all over the world made for us. And maybe I made a mistake yesterday, but yesterday's me is still me. Today, I am who I am with all of my faults and my mistakes. That was quite interesting. What he's kind of saying is don't run away from your past mistakes. Mm. It's okay that you made a mistake. Don't be like, oh, that was yesterday. I'm a new person. You're still the same person. You can make a mistake again. But own it, like yeah, learn from I it. I think it's easier sometimes to overlook mistakes and yeah. accept them. And also, I think growing up, sometimes we have this image of perfection. Yeah. And when we don't quite match up to that or fall short, then that kind of creates this like imbalance or just like, you know, within yourself. Um, and I think it's a it's a powerful message, but I really I really like it because it's 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 not the usual like oh like be the best you can be because that's yeah. actually a hard thing you know yeah to it is um and i think this is kind of revealing a lot about their mind states yeah you know it's all genuine yes yeah. tomorrow i might be a tiny bit wiser mm. and that'd be me too these faults and mistakes are what i am making up the brightest stars in the constellation of my life. I have come to love myself for who I am, for who I was, and for who I hope to become. I'd like to say the one last thing. After releasing our Love Yourself albums and launching the Love Myself campaign, we started to hear remarkable stories from our fans all over the world how our message helped them overcome their hardships in life and start loving themselves. Amazing. Those stories constantly remind us of our responsibility. Mm. I'll just stop it there. That's crazy because most of the time, um, at least in the West, we musicians might talk about like creativity mm. or like, you know, music as an expression or and that's all fine, but that's the first time I've kind of seen the word responsibility mm. being used in the context of music yeah. and when you think about it, with forgetting BTS for one second music in general has such a wide reach and it's just really empowering and kind of interesting to see for them obviously they love it but it's also a responsibility um, I think yeah. that says a lot about the group yeah, it does and they're very mature for their age and kind of the way they think about things they're handling their responsibility very well so yeah, let's go back into it. So, let's take all one more step. We have learned to love ourselves. So now I urge you to speak yourself. I like to ask all of you, what is your name? What excites you and makes your heart beat? Tell me your story. I want to hear your voice. I want to want to hear your conviction. Ooh. Conviction. No matter who you are, where you're from, 
your skin color, your gender identity, to speak yourself. Find your name and find your voice by speaking yourself. I'm Kim Nam Joon and also RM of BTS. I'm an idol and I'm an artist from a small town in Korea. Like I love how people, you just said, I'm an idol. <laughs> I've made many and plenty mistakes in my life. I have many faults and I have many more fears, but I'm going to embrace myself as hard as I can. And I'm starting to love myself gradually, just little by little. I think I love how he admits. What is your name? He's in the process. Mm. Speak yourself. Thank you very much. I was about to start tapping. <laughs> I felt like I was in the room and I was about to like. Really nice. Thank you very much. You can see um, they're proud of him as well. So many young fans around the world. It was a pleasure having BTS with us and I'm thankful that you use your platform and creativity to reach young audiences with positive messages about what it means to be a young person in the world today. Okay, so that was BTS RM, his UN speech. Um, yeah, that was really nice, man. I think it's what I expect him to say, mm. almost, which is weird. But it's like I kind of, if I imagined what a speech would he would give, yeah. it sounds like that. It's very true to who he is, um, which is quite nice because it's not like he got oh, invited to the UN and then start yeah. talking about something he's never spoken about before. Mm. There are a couple of artists who've like been invited to say Oxford and Cambridge and then they start talking about things and you're like, <laughs> this doesn't really reflect your music, yeah. like, but this very much reflects everything they do. It, it seems it seems that music is just an extension yeah. of themselves and mm. it, that's why I think it's na it seems very natural yeah. when it comes from them. It, I I don't really know what else to say because I feel like RM. Yeah, I would I would say it's more about it's not saying anything right now. It's more about what we're gonna like what we take from it. What we uh, take from it, right? And I think it's quite nice that we reacted to this on this day of all days. Mm. Um, you know, we've released a short documentary today, which is about you know going out there and having voices heard. It's all about that. It's all about amplifying the voices of people. Um, just regular people and you know the issues that they're going through and what they're facing and what they're struggling with so if you want to speak yourself and if you want to take this campaign to heart and amplify and amplify the voices of you know um, ordinary people and their struggles mm -hmm. please do go check that out and do drop a little comment we know you guys are hella active on Twitter yeah. so any support on that platform is really appreciated um, we really believe in you know in our work and in many ways what RM is saying does yeah. apply to our work as well I think so B if you i can't explain how bts have kind of been i wouldn't even i'd say i'd say almost mentors of yeah like, this is how it should be done yeah so for us as budding you know artists in our different fields it's just yeah. like we look up to them and they're working in percent. so when we see this we're like wow like yeah it's, it's really nice and it's you know, obviously, as, as artists, there are things that we relate to in, in his speech. You know, wanting to quit. People <laughs> thinking you're hope. I mean, to be honest, it's never like people think we're hopeless. But it's yeah. just like, you get a lot of rejections on a day-to-day -day basis. I, and, you know, I, it's, I'm, it's, I'm a really tough, it's a tough, it's a tough struggle. If you haven't yet to, you know, join us on the journey of 10 yeah. Little Indians, which is, you know, the project we've been talking about, the links are in the description, because what you'll hopefully see is a journey of us kind of finding our niche. Finding wanna, our voice, yeah. What we want to talk about, and, you know, don't wanna, we're only halfway through, but if you stick on it, if you, you know, if you watch it weekly, yeah. I think by the end you'll have gained a really good sense of, what is anomaly you yeah, know who why are did we? we pick that name um yeah yeah and um you know thank you to everyone who has been supporting it already we love thank you guys you. we appreciate you um the anomaly fam is strong we're getting new <laughs> members every day and it's we amazing we never thought we'd hit yeah, this many it, subs we were aiming for what, what like 1000 yeah, bro i don't know <laughs> now but yeah it's all crazy um we appreciate you guys like mad thank you for watching keep hitting us in the comments you know Please we love do. that kind of shit 
Um, but yeah, until next time.